हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स हेलो गाइज दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी हाउ डज लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विद कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट लुक्स लाइक वी विल सी इट्स वेरियस रिप्रेजेंटेशन वी विल ऑल्सो सी वन ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द सोल्यूशन ऑफ एल डी with constant coefficient called as complementary function so let us first see what is linear differential equation with constant coefficient and how does it look like guys as the name suggest this is a linear differential equation means its highest degree is 1 in fact dependent variable and its derivatives will have degree 1 therefore this differential equation is called as linear differential equation and apart from this its all coefficients are constant in nature therefore this differential equation is called as linear differential equation with constant coefficient and it looks like this look at here here y is the dependent variable and these are its various derivatives this is first order derivative this is n minus 2th order derivative and this is nth order derivative of y see that all these derivatives appears in degree 1 therefore this is a linear differential equation apart from this this p1 p2 pn minus 1 pn are all real constants therefore this is linear differential equation with constant coefficient this rhs part is a function of x we call it as capital x now if i take capital d is equal to d by dx then this same differential equation can be written as d raised to n y plus p1 d raised to n minus 1 y plus p2 d raised to n minus 2 y plus dot 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 p n y is equal to x see that in all these terms in the left hand side this y is a common variable that you can take out so this differential equation now will look like this now this bracketed term is a function of capital d so we can replace this by f of d and now we say this linear differential equation with constant coefficient will look like f of d into y is equal to capital x where this f of d is this bracketed term now see examples of this ld with constant coefficient this is the first example of order 3 differential equation d3y by dx cube plus 2 d2y by dx square minus dy by dx minus 2y is equal to 0 here rhs is 0 if we take d by dx is equal to capital d then this differential equation can be written as d cube plus 2d square minus d minus 2 into y is equal to 0 similarly look at the second example this is order 5 degree 1 ld with constant coefficient see that all these coefficients are constants so here also if we take d is equal to d by dx then this differential equation can be written as d raised to 5 plus 3d cube plus d minus 1 into y is equal to 0 now let's talk about solution to ld with constant coefficient consider ld f of d into y is equal to capital x then a general solution or a complete solution of this ld is given by y is equal to cf plus pi where cf is complementary function and pi is particular integral so we see that a complete solution to ld with constant coefficient has two parts first part is called as complementary function and second part is called as particular integral in this video we are going to focus only on finding 
complementary function. Note that if RHS of LD with constant coefficient is 0, then PI is also 0. So, solution to LD with constant coefficient whose RHS is 0 will have only complementary function. Its particular integral is 0. Now, let us see method to find out complementary function. Assume LD with constant coefficient in consideration is f of d into y is equal to capital X. Then very first of all, we will find the corresponding auxiliary equation. The corresponding auxiliary equation is given by f of d is equal to 0. Next, we solve this equation for the values of d. We call these values as roots. Now, depending on the nature of roots, we write corresponding complementary function. We know that roots of any equation may be real and distinct. They may be real and repeated or they may be complex conjugates of each other. So, depending on these natures, we will write the corresponding complementary function. Look at the case 1. Say, roots of the auxiliary equation are real and distinct. Say, m1 and m2. Then the corresponding complementary function is given by c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x. Where this c1 and c2 are constants. This m1 and m2 are the roots of the auxiliary equation and x is the independent variable in the differential equation. Now look at the case 2. If roots of the auxiliary equation are real and repeated, say m1, m1, then in that case, complementary function is given by c1 plus c2x into e raised to m1x. Now, finally, consider the case when roots of the auxiliary equation are complex conjugates of each other. Say a plus ib and a minus ib. Then in that case, complementary function is given by e raised to ax into c1 cos bx plus c2 sin bx. Here also, c1 and c2 are constants. Now, apart from these three cases, we may find that a particular auxiliary equation may have roots which are combination of these three cases. For example, consider this case. If the roots of the auxiliary equation are real and are given by m1, m2, m3. So, this particular auxiliary equation has three roots. All of them are real and distinct. So, in this case, Corresponding complementary function is given by c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 e raised to m2x plus c3 e raised to m3x. Look at the case 2. Assume that the corresponding auxiliary equation has a real and repeated roots that occurs thrice. Say m2, m2, m2. Then corresponding complementary function is given by c1 plus c2x plus c3x square into e raised to m2x. Look at case 3. If roots of the auxiliary equation are m1, m2, m2. That means there are only two distinct roots m1 and m2 out of which m1 appears once and m2 appears twice. Then in that case corresponding complementary function is given by c1 e raised to m1x plus c2 plus c3x into e raised to m2x. Now look at case 4. Assume roots of the auxiliary equation are given by alpha plus i beta and alpha minus i beta and both appears twice. So there are total 4 roots of the auxiliary equation. Alpha plus i beta appears twice, alpha minus i beta appears twice. In that case, corresponding complementary function is given by e raised to alpha x into c1 plus c2x cos beta x plus c3 plus c4x sin beta x. I hope you understood this theory. 
Now let us solve some real examples. Look at this example. Here the corresponding equation is d2y by dx square minus 8dy by dx plus 15y is equal to 0. Let's first write it in terms of capital D. So this equation can be written as d square minus 8d plus 15 into y is equal to 0. Next we write the corresponding auxiliary equation that is f of d is equal to 0. Now we solve this equation for the values of d. For that you can take help of calculator or even you can solve it manually. We see that roots of this equation are 3 and 5. Since these roots are real and distinct, the corresponding complementary function is given as c1 e raised to 3x plus c2 e raised to 5x. Since this differential equations RHS is 0, the corresponding particular integral will also be equal to 0. So solution to this differential equation will have only CF. Now this is a practice example for you. I am also giving you the answer of this question so that you can tally your answer. Let's go ahead for next example. Here the differential equation is d square minus 6d plus 9y is equal to 0. Now we write the corresponding auxiliary equation that is f of d is equal to 0. We solve it using calculator. We find that it has roots 3 comma 3. Since roots of this auxiliary equation are real and repeated. The corresponding complementary function is given by c1 plus c2x into e raised to 3x. Once again, as RHS of this equation is 0, its particular integral is also 0. So the complete solution will have only complementary function. Next example is for you. Try to solve this example and check your answer here. Let's go for next example. Here the differential equation is d square plus 4d plus 5 into y is equal to 0. Then the corresponding auxiliary equation is d square plus 4d plus 5 is equal to 0. Which is same as on solving which we get d is equal to minus 2 plus minus i. So we see that this auxiliary equations root are complex conjugates of each other. Therefore, the corresponding complementary function is given by e raised to minus 2x into c1 cos 1x plus c2 sin 1x. Where this minus 2 is coming from the real part of the roots and this 1 from here and here is coming from imaginary part of these roots. Let us see one more example. Here differential equation is d raised to 4 plus 6d plus 9 into y is equal to 0. Then the corresponding auxiliary equation is d raised to 4 plus 6d square plus 9 is equal to 0. On solving which we get d square is equal to minus 3 twice. Therefore d is equal to plus minus root 3i twice. So here roots are complex conjugates of each other as well as they repeated two times. Here real part is 0, imaginary part is root 3. So the corresponding complementary function is given as e raised to 0x that is 1. So we neglect to write it. And since these roots are occurring twice, we write it as c1 plus c2x cos root 3x plus c3 plus c4x sin root 3x. I hope you understood this example as well. Now next example is for you. Here is its solution. I hope guys you understood all these examples 
as well as the technique of finding complementary function which is just a part of the complete solution of the LDE with constant coefficients. With this note, I will stop here. In my next video, we will see the second part of the complete solution of LDE with constant coefficient which is called as particular integral. So don't miss to watch my next video. Thank you all of you. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such engineering mathematics videos. Please press the bell icon to have updated information about my videos.